Hey everyone, this is Tito, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about getting out to Duna. So right now we are on Kerbin, and we want to get to Duna. Uh, what we need to do is we need to time warp ahead until Duna is at about a 40 degree angle from us. So let's go ahead and speed up time here a little bit until it looks like we're at about a 40 degree angle. Probably a little bit farther than that. That should be good. So let's go ahead and jump to the orbiter. I already have an orbit of Kerbin, and we'll set up our maneuver node to get there. So now if we zoom way out, we can go ahead and set Duna as our target, and Duna is in a higher orbit than Kerbin. So that means we need to extend our orbit. We'll pretend we're Kerbin, and if we were a ship going around the sun like this, we would need to bring prograde to extend out our orbit. So we need to set a maneuver that will launch ourselves in essentially Kerbin's prograde. So let's go ahead and add a maneuver till we pop off. And all you want to do is you want to adjust the position of this burn. If I can grab it, there we go. Until you're going perpendicular with Kerbin's orbit, leaving in the same direction it's traveling. So if we zoom out, we can see that if we continue to pull on our prograde marker, we are extending our orbit. Well, it just disappeared. What happened? Oh, we're running into the moon. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Let's go ahead and reposition this a little bit better. Try not to run into the moon this time. There we go. You can see we almost have ourselves an intercept. We actually do have an intercept. So now if we double click on Duna, we can see where that intercept's going to occur. So we're going to be coming in, looks like a little bit below it and a little bit outside of it, but that's okay. We can make a mid-course correction to get ourselves a nice close intercept. So I'll see you back here after the cut, after I perform this burn. All right, so we've went ahead and left Kerbin's Spear of Influence and are now on our way to Duna. What I want to do is go ahead and get us a little bit closer. That way we have less of a burn to perform once we get there. So I'm going to add a maneuver about halfway between us and our encounter, then zoom into Duna so we can see the effect we're having when we perform this burn. So let's go ahead and just get that in nice and tight. We don't have to be crashing into the planet. We don't have to be coming in exactly on the horizon. Would be nice. But let's go ahead, play with this a little bit until we're happy with it. Now that's crashing into it. There we go. Three million meters. That'll be a lot more reasonable when we get there. So we'll go ahead and perform this burn in 112 days for zero seconds. And I'll see you when we are at Kerbin, or sorry, at Dunasphere Influence. All right. So we are now in Dunasphere Influence. We're going to be coming in about three million meters away from it. We want to get that a little bit closer. So you can set up a maneuver node if you'd like, or you can just eyeball it. Uh, I know I'm coming in to the right of it, so I want to burn radial in to go ahead and push my periapsis closer to the planet. Ike will probably get in the way here. That's pretty normal for a Duna encounter. Long as you're not crashing into it though, you're fine. So we're going to get this down as low as we can, our Duna periapsis, without crashing into Ike and without Ike having too much of an effect on us. At least now we'll be able to do some Ike science though as we go for the flyby. So we want to go ahead and use Duna's atmosphere to help capture us into an orbit. I haven't done this in a little while. I don't know what the safe altitude is. I'm going to make a mad guess, go for 25,000 meters. That should be low enough to help us get captured, but not too low to where we blow up around entry. So I will see you back here when we are inside the atmosphere at Duna, and we'll go ahead and get captured. And that'll be that. All right, well, we're about two minutes away from our Duna periapsis. We can go ahead and check the map just to be sure. Yeah, about two minutes away. Uh, make sure that you go ahead and tuck away your uh, your solar panels so they don't get ripped off by the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and close up this science bay. What we're probably going to have to do is burn a little bit retrograde just to help capture us, but we're just going to be watching the map for now just to see what happens to our orbit naturally. If we notice that we're not going to get captured, we're just going to go ahead and start burning retrograde. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be captured, so I didn't go quite low enough. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, little while, so I'm not sure of the exact height. Um, I would probably go look that up, but honestly, I'm lazy. 
I want to say it's about 14,000 meters, though, give or take. So let's go ahead and burn retrograde a little bit here, just till we're captured. It's not going to cost us too much fuel. And we're captured. So we're just going to go ahead and let the atmosphere of Duna bring this orbit down. We'll circularize once we think we're close enough. Now we can go from there and start doing science experiments. All right, everybody, once again, this has been Tito, and this has been a tutorial on how to get to Duna. Have a good one.